hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 1.3 of uh, our book which is introduction to statistics and data analysis okay. so uh, let me read this statement here so a certain polymer is used for evacuation systems for aircraft it is important that the polymer be resistant to the aging process which occurs with the passage of time okay so 20 specimens of the polymer were used in an experiment to test the aging and tensile strength uh, 10 were assigned randomly to be exposed on an accelerated batch aging process that involved exposure to high temperature for 10 days measurements of tensile strength of the specimens were made and the following data were recorded on tensile strength in psi okay so this data is for non-aging and aging as well these are the 10 specimens for the aging and non-aging tensile strength of the polymer okay so uh, what is part a today we will concentrate over a dot plot of the data so here we have this data for the aging and non-aging and let me solve it for part a okay so in part a what do we have to do we have to do a dot plot of the data what we can do for a dot plot we can plot it over a single plot for the aging and non-aging data and also use the separate plots for them as well so let me use a uh, same plot for them so in using a same plot for them let me have here this line and let me start it here from 200 let me take this data from 200 up to 230 okay so this is what this is the range of our data and let me have here at the middle of it i have 215 okay here i will have 208 let me have 208 and uh, here i will have uh, 2 triple 2 Okay. this is the data let me use other that's here as well so this is 204 this is 208 and let me have here uh, 211 okay. let me have 211 here uh, 218 here so let me have 218 here and also here we will have 206 so these are different data uh, ranges here so uh, for plotting them let me use different colors for them so for aging i am going to use this color sorry for the non-aging i'm use, going to use the red color and for the aging i'm going to use this one this is cross and this is dot for them i'm going to them here so the first uh, data i'm going to plot here is for the non-aging and the first point here i have is 227 and that uh, 227 sorry this is uh, 226 yes this is 226 okay so the first data i have is 227 and let me have it okay so this is 200 and 27 the second one is 222 this is here the third one 218 this is here okay 4217 let me have it here and then 225 so 225 is somehow here okay. the other one is 218 again so let me draw it here uh, the next one is 216 so 216 almost lie here okay uh, then uh, 229 so 229 lies here okay uh, then 228 228 lies here and the last one here is 221 okay which lies so this is the data for what this is for the non-aging tensile strength and we can see uh, see here that all the data is mostly uh, related to the um, higher aging uh, in years because we can see that all the data has the highest strength uh, which can be seen here the uh, through the skewness of our data which is mostly skewed skew toward <coughs> this 
maximum range okay so after it let me draw it for the aging data and for it i have selected this purple color so the first data point is 219 and 219 is somehow here okay the other one is 214 it is here uh, 215 okay it is here uh, 211 here 209 here 218 okay. so it is here um, 203 so 203 is here okay. uh, 204 here uh, 201 here and the last one is 205 here, okay so uh, here we can see that more of the aging data basically lies here okay so let me uh, use this color that we can see that most most of our aging data basically skewed toward this end okay so this is for the aging concentrated data all the aging uh, is concentrated over here while we can see that for the non-aging data which is represented by this blue color that is mostly concentrated over this area okay so we can see that this is the concentrated non-aging So most of the data here skewed toward this one and from this plot we can very clearly see that the uh, tensile strength uh, increases uh, with the non-aging okay so as uh, the uh, data is a newer one or as the polymer has a newer specimen their their strength is higher as the polymer has a less age its its strength is higher while the polymer samples which has the higher aging has the lower strength okay so that is shown by this dot plot okay so i hope you have understood the underlying concept of uh, the dot plotting and uh, i hope uh, it will be useful for your data analysis and statistical knowledge so i will see you with some more interesting uh, parts of this question in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon